Good evening. I just wanted to take a minute to do a recap of our essentials class today. And for fun, I thought we'd try it on a video rather than um, having you read it. You could maybe watch it because, you know, we're in that day and age. So um, the first thing I wanted to do is just remind you about your EEL guide. Um, everything I do in class is right here. So I don't actually have any information that you don't have right in your guide. And I wanted to remind you how important it is to read it. At the top, you'll see it'll go over everything um, just as an overview of everything we're going to talk about in class. Um, there is um, a focus of the week that just gives you, again, that overview, the summary. You have definitions right here. These are the definitions you want your students to memorize for the week. Um, the getting dialectic section actually explains everything we'll be going over. So it goes in great detail and that's usually quite lengthy and you want to read that before you come to class and it wouldn't hurt to read it afterwards as well. Um, the in-class section is what I will try to get to. We can't get to everything because there's just so much. So I always want to just review that and then go over with your student anything that we missed in class. And then finally, this at-home section right here is how you know what homework you should be doing. It goes into detail exactly what to do, what charts to study, um, how to carry this out at home. And then on the back, or um, later on in the at-home section, what I really love is there's always a scripture and just an encouragement. Um, this week's scripture um, is from Philippians, one of my favorites, do not be anxious about anything. Um, we don't need to be anxious about essentials. As I said today in class, it's a precise language and we can really learn it. And so I just wanted to make sure to point you to the resources that you have, because really without these, um, you probably will find yourself frustrated and confused in class um, because I'm just giving kind of a snapshot. I'm encouraging your students and I'm equipping you. Um, and this is really the, the main way to equip yourself. Um, I did want to mention a couple of things that I didn't have time to go over in class today. Um, one of which are our incentives. And for those of you who didn't make it to back to school, and I apologize, I did have these for you um, tonight, or excuse me, today in class and forgot to give them out. So um, there's a page that talks about our incentives. Um, we have a couple of them. One is our popsicles um, for popcorn. And so your student for every chart that they copy or verbally say to you, you as the parent get to decide what is most appropriate for your child. Um, for every chart that they do that with throughout the week when they come back to class, they get to move a popsicle stick from one bag to another. And when we move 100 popsicle sticks into our finished bag, we get a popcorn party. So it's just a fun way to celebrate as a community and do that together as a class. Um, secondly, we do have our game board again that we had last year. And again, I apologize. I do have flip books for any of you who did not have them. And it has all the definitions and everything they would need to go through um, the, the game board. The flip book is color coded. So for instance, all the red um, game or uh, squares here are in red in the flip book. And so you can just go through that. Um, I have my students at home do a page a week. You could do a half a page. You scale that according to how you'd like, but it really, what it does is it take, takes chart A and helps us understand the definitions. When we did that illustration today which, with the whatchamacallits and the thingamajigs, it takes that sentence classification, maybe simple or compound, and helps them memorize the definitions so they understand what those things are and we can talk about them. And then finally, something new we're going to do this year is called our password. Every week when we dismiss for a break right before math, um, to get back into class, we're going to have a password for your students. So this week, the password will be the definition to a clause. So I will ask them before they come back into class, what is a clause? And they need to say a clause is a group of words that contains both a subject and a verb. And we practiced some hand motions with that. So we said a clause is a group of words that does contain both a subject and a verb. And after they say that, they just come on the class. If they don't know it, they can go to the back of the line. And the trick here is they're listening. And so by the time they get back to the front of the line, they'll have that down. And so um, I'll be the gatekeeper this first week just to model how it's going to go. But then students get to take turns being the gatekeeper and they get to listen um, to all those passwords and let students back into class and they'll receive their sucker at that point too. So I'm excited about that opportunity. Just another way to have them excited to memorize our definitions and the things we're working on in class. Uh, math. We did super speed math today. I'm going to go ahead and include that attachment um, on our on my email. So if any of you want, it's a free download. You can just download that and Work on that at home if you'd like. I think it's a fun way, especially if students have difficulty writing. They can just do that verbally. And again, they're competing with themselves. This isn't about um, who can do the best thing in class. We're not looking for the top 
um, speed racer in our class. We, we just want students to progress from where they personally are. So please continue to encourage them to just do their best. And then finally, um, for IEW, um, everyone should have this book. It's the book with the knight on the cover. It's the medieval history based writing that we're doing this year. Um, this is really outlined very, very well. And again, um, for this week and every week, actually, it goes through day one through five, and we will try to cover as much as we can in the day one section. So always read that and make sure if there's anything I missed, anything we didn't get to that you cover that. And then it will just tell you what to do in the following days. So it's very simple, laid out for you. It's a lesson plan right here for you to follow. This week is a little different because we are doing lesson one and lesson two. So you decide what works best for your student and yourself at home. I do want to mention that in the back of the student book are these wonderful vocabulary cards. Um, these happen to be from week three. And so, um, the other ones were already cut out, so I apologize. But um, every week listed in the document we gave you, um, it really it tells you all of the vocabulary words that your student can learn. So if you just go across here, this will tell you exactly what we're covering in class. Week one gives the overview for essentials, and then also for IEW, there's an extra book you can read if you'd like to, to take that on, if you need some read aloud ideas. But those vocabulary words are over here. Those are so fun for your student to go over, to add into their writing. It's on their checklist as something optional. But I, my students have really enjoyed just learning those new words and, and using them. And they actually gear them towards those lessons so they're easy to fit into um, the lesson that we're working on. So I'd like to encourage you to use those. Um, and then also at the front of both of your student book and your teacher book is a blue page. And this is specific for downloading information. And basically what's happening here in the medieval book is we are right in the middle of um, ability level. And so there are source texts in here for your student if you need simplified reading or if you want to go to more advanced reading. You can download those for free off the IEW website and all that information is included here and it's at the very beginning of your teacher book and your student book. Just that blue page right here will give you all the information. So I know the first weeks there's so much to go over. You are seasoned parents so you you know what's going on. Um, I. I'm going to do my best to keep us active in class, to keep your child engaged. I know it's hard, um, they, it's hot, they've just come out of recess. Um, so we'll play games as often as we can, get up and get active. And I guess my encouragement to you mostly is if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I'm here as a resource to equip and to encourage you, and I'm so glad to have you in class this year. Hope you have a great week, and let me know if you need anything. Bye-bye.